Hello, Clay and Pavid here. Welcome back to Let's Play Social Square Pair Style for Bikini Bottom. You might wondering, why am I here? And why am I Patrick? Well, I had a previous recording of this, and I had a, I had the wrong SD card in, which I'm still kind of mad about. But anyway, basically, we... Die! Anyway, as I was saying, we basically saved Patrick from robots that weren't even doing anything and he gave us a spatula. So now, basically, Patrick's the only one that can throw fruit. Like, demonstrate itself. Now we're gonna bash some more tiki's. And he can also pick up tiki's and throw it. Oh, fuck. I don't care. Dumb. Come back first. And the stupid thing about this game, if you throw it off a cliff, you have to wait for it to respawn and come back. Which is pretty stupid. Let me just screw that up here. This game makes you be very precise with your throws. And Patrick can also throw fruit on these teeter totter thingies that when you throw through them, you launch like so. And this is a thunder tiki. It will explode if it's on a con. It will explode when you throw it. Like so. Super combo. And if you hit it, yeah. Sorry, I just skipped to that conversation. So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. Why was you in an undesirable position yesterday? Heed my words, my lord, future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the cave, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you be for us? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low quality design and knock off wallets. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Patrick's an idiot. And you can also do a slam in midair when you jump and hit the X button. I'm playing this on GameCube. I'm not really going to be a good let's player, so I'll explain control as well. Anyway, yeah, the second part of this hub is called Jellyfish Caves. If I haven't already mentioned that. Or if you couldn't already tell, we're in a cave in Jellyfish Field. That was very smart. Oh no. Don't even start with this. You have to be very careful right here. Just try your best to try and jump over the spikes of some sort. I don't know. Trying this really well. Let me do that, okay. Ah, what am I doing? I'm being stupid. We have another sliding section coming up. We'll find multiple of those sliding sections throughout the game. So this ain't the only one, and that was really stupid. be able to get through the full section in this video. Like, I'll try to do each hub world in the video. And you can also stack fruit on top of each other. Yeah. Oh, gee, thanks for breaking my fruit, son. I don't think I already know this. I beat this game, like, five times. I'm not 
talking much. I, I just don't have much to talk about. Yep, nurse slide section. I like to make that play for the slide section. Soft. Rock out. Ow. Hey, crazy fruit. And this is what you'd have to do to get the actual sock back in jellyfish. Back in jellyfish rock. The first part of jellyfish fields. You'd have to skate across and get it. But I did it the cheapo sacrificial way. You can also belly cop to stun enemies. This is why I said this would come in handy. Uh, no, wait. No, no, wait. Oh, never mind. You can only, you can only, um... See how you can slow roll that? Ow! Cool. That will become my useful later on. I'm just gonna hop over there. Yep. Seven. Seven spatulas. I mean, I'll try to get as much spatulas as I can, if I can as I can in the world before I go on to the next world. Now we're about to enter the third part of the, the third hub of this world, Jellyfish Lake. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. No, of course. For sake, too. That monster has been singing all my good customers in their poop tent. Well, that's very I nice. I hear that you can find him up top of old sport mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Which is not much because SpongeBob fights the mini boss in this world. Not there's not a boss in all worlds. Like oh look, our favorite, our good old friend. There's tartar sauce. There's tartar sauce. I just love how SpongeBob Patrick's pictures are drawn, but then there's Sandy's picture and it actually looks like a squirrel. You have to be very careful because. That's a very quick way to defeat robots, by stunning them and then just wailing on them. And I'm only at 8 minutes, so I might be able to get like a little bit of this world done. Jellyfish! Jellyfish! Die Jellyfish! Right. It's kind of weird though how characters just inconspicuously find golden spatulas, but then they get taken by robots because they're slow. Now, like I said, how this stunning thing will become very useful. Ah! You. Stupid robot, you ruined my conversation. But anyway, remember how I said these robots will become very useful throughout the game? Here's one of their many uses. Doing challenges. Nah, I had that. They used to be wired to whistle until you put them on. I slammed on you, I know I did. No, no, no! Go away! No! Oh, that's just a play. You have to be very quick with your shots, guys. Fudge! Okay. No! On! Thank you. I think there was another one there. 
And now that drains the lake so we can get the golden spatula. Oh, no! 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 But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. So, Pippa Fan 580, see you guys next time for when we continue on with Jellyfish Lake and Jellyfish Fields.